Welcome to the newscast. I'm Tom Warbeck. To borrow Russell Crowe's famous line from the movie Gladiator, are you not entertained? By the first look at the Jeep Gladiator. Fiat Chrysler briefly revealing pictures and specs of the new Jeep pickup that goes on sale next year. The folks over at Jeep Gladiator Forum caught a few details on FCA's media page before the company took them down. As expected, the pickup will be powered, at least at the outset, by a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine with stop start. A 3 liter diesel will come later. As our corporate cousin Auto Week reports, towing is expected to land at 7,650 pounds and payload will be 1,600 pounds. The Gladiator is expected to be unveiled later this month at the Los Angeles Auto Show. Honda today saying that it will show the all-new 2019 Passport crossover on November 27th, just ahead of the official media days at the LA show. The vehicle will be built in Lincoln, Alabama and launch early next year. The Passport will expand Honda's CUV lineup to four models after the HRV, CRV, and Pilot. The Passport is expected to be about six inches shorter than the Pilot. The two-row crossover will compete with the likes of the Ford Edge and Chevy's all-new Blazer. Honda's U.S. light truck sales are up 5.3 percent this year and are on track to set a record for the fourth straight year. To trade, the European Union says it will retaliate against any U.S. decision to impose tariffs on car imports. The announcement coming after European and U.S. trade officials met in Washington on Wednesday. EU tariffs would be a, quote, rebalancing list covering a lot of different sectors. The U.S. and EU are trying to preserve a truce on trade after relations came under strain from President Donald Trump's America First approach to foreign policy. Reaction now from the UK auto industry on British Prime Minister Theresa May's tentative Brexit deal with the EU. Under the terms of the pact announced Wednesday, the UK will see a 21-month transition phase after Brexit takes place next March. Now, during this period, nothing will change and businesses can carry on operating as they do now. UK-based automaker Aston Martin responding cautiously, CEO Andy Palmer saying, quote, I don't know whether we have more clarity or less clarity, but at least we have some sort of plan on the table. Palmer says Aston will not change any of its contingency planning, which includes potentially flying in components and changing ports to maintain its output. Automakers with UK plants have warned that production would be hit if parts coming from Europe are held up by bureaucracy at British ports. Finally, as we've reported, Tesla CEO Elon Musk is looking to get into the booze business. He wants to trademark an alcoholic drink dubbed Tesla Kila, but Musk is running into a roadblock of sorts. Mexico's Tequila Regulatory Council claims the name Tesla Kila evokes the word tequila, and tequila is a protected word. Basically, the council wants the maverick Musk to adhere to a bunch of rules and regulations to make Tesla Kila viable as a tequila. Musk responding on Twitter Wednesday, we will fight big tequila. And that ought to be a lot of fun to watch. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you back here tomorrow.